Everyone, it's Master Wong here. Today I at Super Show in Vegas. I have Sifu Singh here. And if you don't know what he do, you will find out in a minute. And he will talk to you a little bit and go through a little bit into the night reflect. So you can get some idea. Yeah, thank you, Master Wong. Pleasure, it's a pleasure to see you and a pleasure to have you here and everybody out there. So I'm going to share a drill with you. It's a, it's a reflex drill. So oftentimes people say, why should we train with the blade? Well, one of the most important things to train with the blade is for self-defense purposes. But the other thing that the blade really gives you is attributes, lightning fast speed, sensitivity, line familiarization, the ability to feel your opponent adjust and uh, make the hands go by themselves, right? Because we can't think, sometimes our eyes go too slow. So this is a sensitivity drill. This is not how we fight. So I'm telling everybody out there, you guys, a lot of people might look at this and think, that's not how knife fight happens. This is a drill for attribute development to make your hands faster, okay? And to understand the routes of the knife. This is what this is. This is not how we knife fight. Knife fighting is gonna be very different. So it's just a drill. Okay, Clay, can I have you in here, sir? Okay, yeah, we'll use that one in a second. Can I have you hold this, sir? I'm Thank will. you. Okay, eyes, protection. Okay, first and foremost, anytime we do a knife drill, you have to have eye protection. Here I have Sifu Clay Pratka with me. He runs Texas Chief and those, one of my top instructors, the full Sifu underneath me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a drill, but like I said, you have to have eye protection. You can get cut, you can get break an arm, break a finger, but you can't get an eye back. So anytime you're doing any kind of a knife work, the person getting fed needs to always have eye protection. That's first and foremost safety, because it's not fun if you can't see, okay? So what we're going to do here is I'm going to teach you a drill and this drill is teaching to stick to the knife Okay, to stick to the knife. That's it And it's called the U drill because what's happening is I'm feeding the knife in a U So when somebody comes to attack you, please don't move. They're thrusting. They're thrusting into the throat They're thrusting into the chest. They're thrusting into the armpit. They're thrusting into the liver They're thrusting into the body, right? So this is an arc so that the blade could thrust anywhere here. But once it thrusts, you carve. And then you disengage and you thrust again. That's the idea. Then you carve and you disengage and you thrust again. So it's a thrust, carve. That's very important. So the natural path, when he goes here to check that bang, and as I go to carve, it's a U. So if he doesn't move, the opening is right here. That's where the opening is right here. So he's getting used to feeling my hand and flowing with my hand. So he catches with one, and then he takes the center line with the other right there. And if you can notice, this is also a shot to my eyes if I came forward. Now from here, the next opening, don't move, is to carve over here. So I carve over here, and I come back. I carve over here, and I come back. And then I just start to flow with it. And if you notice, I'm just walking naturally. I'm walking, I'm walking. Then I might double up one side, I double up one side, and then I roll to the other side. I double, I double, and then I roll to the other side. Sometimes I just cut him to keep him honest. But we're just flowing, make sure you're breathing. See, the other thing with these drills is that we have to learn to be in the present, present moment and learn to weaponize our awareness. Awareness happens in the moment when you're the observer, when you're not thinking. If you're looking and thinking for openings, if you're looking to think what to do next, you're in the past. You don't want to be in the past, so I'm really trying to connect to my opponent and connect to myself and feel. This is an attribute development drill, but most importantly, it's not just my hand, my hand. It's learning to feel where's it going, where's the opening going, so that I learn to condition my arms to sense on their own. The mind is the general, the arms are the soldiers and the forces. The forces shouldn't have to go to the mind for permission every time to move. There's a time delay there. So I want them to act and react on their own. That's what we're trying to build with this drill. Okay, so when he comes back over here, I start to do that. So now once he gets the basic pattern of the U and catching this over here, I start to inter, inter, insert interruptions. So as you see that hand is going there, I slap it out of the way and then I come back. I double up. I slap it out of the way and I come back. 
Maya and I might swipe on the other side and then feed to this side. So as I'm feeding, and I might swipe and I come back around and I walk. Sometimes I give him a harder energy. See, I'm feeding him an energy ah, of the struggle. So when he's getting that, he's, where's he going? To open space, because that's where it is. He's being like water and adapting to the blade. He's feeling, he's sensing, he's connecting, he's looking for the openings, and he's learning to adapt. Now once we start getting that going, the next piece is I start to add strikes. So as I'm going this way here, I start to hit the eye. I start to kick him into groin. I start to cut him lower. I start to break the rhythm. I pump fake and come to the other side. And I'm starting to feed him. Rendous. That's the idea. But then we can take it one step further. Boxing glove, please. And shock knife. Ah, here's a shock knife. Here's a shock knife, sir. I'll let you start it up. So you press it like that? Yeah. There it is. Other button. Do you, do you hear that? It's not gonna taste good when it's on you. How many votes was it? I'm not sure. Uh, if you go to the Century Martial Arts website, you can see it. Okay. They sell it as a stun gun. All oh, right. right. So it's just shaped as a knife. Uh, so why do we have this, okay? Stress inoculation. Stress inoculation. So when this is happening, as you can see there's a taser on here. And this taser is gonna make him, give him a little bit more stress response. So we were flowing in the drill. I was breaking the rhythm in the drill. Now let's make it a little bit more realistic to the stress that may be in the fight. So we add this. The next thing is, I put on a boxing glove. Because I need to hit him. Right. Otherwise we're just playing a game. And that's where the mindset comes. You know, Master Wong, you and I, we were talking about it. Perception, right. and stillness, and being in the moment. Yes, yes. Three kinds. Stillness and stillness. Stillness and movement. And stillness and movement under chaos. A controlled chaos. We have to build it up. Okay, come on out. Okay, come on to the side, please, sir. We'll start slow. That is what I'm talking about. It's not just about coming. Not just about doing the movement, but feeling it, the way you move, how you feel that feel coming in. What, you still concentrate on the knife. What's more important? Is it get hit or get stabbed? Nothing. None of that. None it's, of that. Stay out of my head, keep breathing. So what is important when, you, when you're moving around? You, you, you're thinking of the weapon killing you or the hit? No thinking. Nothing at all. Nothing. You gotta let it go. Let it go. Okay. See, you just gotta be and feel. Be water, my friend, right? What did Bruce Lee say? Empty your mind so you can be formless, shapeless like water. But emptying your mind is the most important part before be water. Everybody who does the quote, we do right. too. It's on our shirts. But you gotta empty the mind. And if I'm thinking, I'm in the past. Right, right. So we do these drills to go drop down into the moment. Because he can't think, he's just gotta Blow trust his body. Right, right. And we do all the other drills, so we install. Yeah, yeah. Trust the body. So he's thinking about the knife, he's going to get punch. Thinking about the punch, he's going to get kicked. Yeah, right. Or he's going to get taken down. There's things of that nature. And so we progressively build it up, and uh, we can take it to the next levels where we have four or five people attacking him. Right. And then after that, put some headgear and stuff on. And then you do take downs, go to the ground, and you choose, build up the progression, and get yourself comfortable in chaos. Now, some of you out there haven't watched full some of the Sifu Sing stuff yet, check him out and you know you're going to love him because it's all about learning and we're all here today at Super Show sharing skill and this is about meeting people. 
This is all about meeting the night like-minded people that here to share. We're here to share things. Yes, we're here to share things. We're here to get the student to play, and we're here to learn. You know, every good uh, teacher or instructor, whoever they are, the good student, we're here all learning from each other and sharing something, and that's what we're it's all about. Yes, sir. Um, do you want us to tell them where the stuff to find some information of yourself? Yeah, yeah, you can check me out at sifusing.com, S-I-F-U-S-I-N-G-H.com. Uh, JKD for Black Belts, we just launched a project with uh, Black Belt Magazine and blackbelt.university. So if there's any time or any way we can serve you, we'd be more than happy. But I want to give a big shout out to Master Wong. I'm a big fan of your oh, videos. You, you too, man. You That's why we meet um, each other, man. You're inspiring the world and we have the same haircut. That's <laughs> and you know why people say it all the time that people have hair like this, you know, but no hair, you yeah. know what they say? What? They said, grass never grow in busy street. See, that's the problem. Grass don't grow in busy street. And that's what we are today. So for Master Gong here and Sifu Singh, out. All right, we are here, Budo Brothers, with Master Wong, the man, and we have some big news. As you know, Budo Brothers is all about giving back to our community that has given us so much, because at the end of the day, martial arts changes lives. And we want to continue to do this work, but we need your help. We had an idea at this super show of how we can engage more school owners to give back to the community in the ways of helping the most deserving kids that they know by granting them access to their school. So what we're asking, Mr. Wong. You spin it. So what we want to do, like me, Marsha give me a lot of stuff. I've been bullied very young in Vietnam, come over. And what Marsha made me to become who I am today, confident to become the better version of me. Everybody made a uh, mistake in life. Everybody do bad things, but they got a chance to change. Now, what we want to do with a lot of master seafood together is helping to raise awareness to helping the kid got no chance okay no chance at all to get involved in martial to bring themselves up to become more what they want to be in life okay so what we want to do is gather all the martial people around the world okay school owner to helping to work together as a family to make this happen yes. to helping everyone to give them a chance to be able to become more better version of them. If you like that and you want to be a part of that, contact Budo Brother. Let's and do it. We will make this happen. We want to changing one million kids in this five years. Yes. Okay. That's one our goal. Million kids in this five years. So if you want to be part of it and you feel that you've been affected and Marsha changed you, then join us. If we join together, we can walk very far. And if you're on your own, you can go quick. But when you will die, no one give you water. You will be thirsty, my friend. But you work with a team. If you can't walk, we will help you and carry you through and get into the journey where we want to go. You know where that is? I don't know where that is. But does it really matter? We're in a journey together. And that's what it's all about. Master Wong here. Udo Udo brothers. brothers. Join the team and we will fight for what you want. One million kids. Million kids in five, five years. years. Help us out. You Let's know. do it, people. Let's do it.